guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm just gonna have to firstly apologize because it is hot outside. Hair is gonna have to slick back. I'm probably gonna get a bit of Sula because I am just sweltering in this heat. I feel like, yeah, filming this in a bit of a heat wave with the ring light and everything. It's a lot. So, before I jump into today's B&M haul, I do very kindly have a sponsor for today's video and it's very fitting with this weather because Wild have very kindly sent me their new Pina Colada scent of their all natural deodorant. Love their brand, I've used them in the past as well. And plus, how nice is this packaging, this new one that they've sent me in this gorgeous, funky little leopard print. So if you don't know what Wild is, it is a cruelty-free, vegan, all-natural brand that basically is a refillable deodorant stick. Some of my favourite scents include the Jasmine and Mandarin Blossom, which I've ordered, and of course the brand new Pina Colada, and then I also have the Coconut one. All very summery vibes. The limited edition Pina Colada one combines scents of pineapple in there, coconut in there, it's literally like sipping a pina colada on the beach. That's the place that this smell takes you to. It's really easy to switch out the refill they even have the subscription element if that suits your lifestyle and you can even get your very own engraved case and they have so many fun different scents and packaging types to choose from and they also have very kindly given me a discount code for you guys freya 2021 if you want to save 20 percent off all products then i will leave a direct link in the description box for you to click through make sure to take advantage of that discount code and enjoy your very own brand new world deodorant so like i said very fitting with this heat and this weather i did actually do some vlog footage i never know whether to include the vlog footage within these videos let me know if you prefer to me to just get on with the haul or if you do want to see the other bits in store that I liked but didn't pick up so what I'll do is I'll include just a real quick brief couple of clips of the in-store vlog footage and then do let me know in the comments below whether you'd prefer me to just leave it out and jump straight into the haul or if you want me to maybe put it on my Instagram so that it's a separate video or if you want me to carry on including the vlog footage within the beginning of the video of showing you the bits that I didn't pick up, but I still liked. So yeah, do let me know in the comments below. It's really useful to get your guys' feedback. So let's head on into store and I'll see you guys afterwards to show you everything that I did pick up. So first things first, I always get asked which stores I go to. So this particular B&M store is the one in a place called Cheadle outside Manchester. I first, as always, just browse all the food section. I feel like they entice you with the food straight away when you get into the shop. Then I head to the beauty section where I spotted some really reputable brands, which was a nice surprise. And then last but not least, a good browse around all the homeware section. I had a look at bedding, pillows, cushions, rugs, all sorts. They have some really nice ranges including the Natural Sanctuary, the Urban and then also the Boho range which really caters for every individual style and then I am loving their candle section, the brand, the aesthetic and everything and they also have Aromaworks candles which is new, I didn't realise that they sold them. Then after having a good look around the kitchen section, I headed to more of the outdoor areas, which is fitting for this sort of time of the year. As we are in the thick of summer right now and we've had some lovely weather, they have a really nice range of outdoor furniture and everything to shop. I spotted this absolute bargain, a Mrs. Hinch This Is Me book. RRP of $16.99, retailing just for £3 in B&M, so if you're yet to have that a read and you fancy it, then now's the time to buy it. Okay. 
Okay, the heat equals a pet cooling mat for Barney Boo in an extra large. It's so heavy, this thing. So we did actually um, buy one for him before from B&M, this exact one actually. And I did have it outside and there was an area where it wasn't on the grass and it has slightly marked the underneath of one of the like panels which has the cooling gel in and um, you don't need to freeze it or anything it activates as soon as the pet lies down on it so to, quite honestly i want one for myself anyway barney absolutely loves it he always sleeps on it and we have it inside the house so the other one that has slightly ripped i'm gonna patch it up take it outside and have him have that one outside and then keep this one for indoor use only when the sun is shining and i think he really appreciates that cooling mat so yeah i definitely wanted to pick up another one of those oh my god i actually got sent this from the pr team at bno i had no idea it was coming and it was actually what encouraged me to get down there and have a browse myself they sent me these pajamas eight pounds i just think they're so funny and a great little kind of fun secret santa gift or stocking filler gift if you're buying for someone that loves bnm and and is just that person that can't resist a browse and it says on the front I can't be trusted at B&M little star print that's why I say like a stocking filler secret Santa type thing because they're almost a little bit festive uh, but yeah I just thought I would include that so thanks to the PR team for sending me those so I picked up this I'm thinking for Tom's office upstairs I like the kind of rustic industrial kind of style to this it's a little side table with storage so that's what I like I love how they've styled it up and that's probably exactly how I would style it up with some coffee table books or magazines and then just keep the top free for a little coaster with a drink or a candle or something like that or even just have it there so it's 36 by 29 by 46 centimeters and it was 12 pounds then from the kitchen section i found this new range urbanist which had again kind of industrial style kitchen items kitchenware items which i did really like i picked up two of these stackable baskets for fruit veg that's kind of how I'm going to use it, potatoes, onions, you just flip these bits over and then it can stack on top like so. So I'm actually thinking of putting these within our cupboards, the cupboards that we've currently got, they're quite deep and there's not much shelving in them so it, there's a lot of wasted space. So these were £4 each. These are so pretty, so I picked these ones up from the candle kind of section that they have and they scream the white company for me. It's even got the little black and white branding with the bow on the side this is a pack of 12 tea light candles what i particularly love about these and yet again another reason for them being a white company dupe which we all know i like to hunt down um is the fact that they're not like a silver casing they're not that kind of cheaper looking casing they are clear so i think they look nicer under a wax melt burner or in a tea light holder so that you don't see the silvery bit that's what i particularly loved about these so these are scented i got number four mandarin lime and basil and number two blackberry and bay which are very much german loan dupe cents and two pound per set great little gift idea again um i think they look really really pretty i can't believe we're already in august that is crazy to me mind you by the time august comes around at the end of august i'm already in the autumn mindset so anyway picked up another candle yet again another one that i'd never seen before this one is from the brand willow and bay now i never know yeah these are part of b m it's just the kind of branding that they go uh, rather than B&M on the front. Willow and Bay, I just think that looks really nice. Love the font and everything. It's a wooden wick as well, so it's a nice little crackle effect, wooden wick candle with 50 hours burn time in the scent vanilla and amber wood, and it does smell really nice. And yet again, would make a lovely gift for someone. Oh, when the sun's out, Aperol Spritz is the season. So I thought we had some the other day when I fancied some with Tom. Turns out we didn't, we must have drunk it all at the old house. So we had Pims instead, which was lovely. But I just thought I would get this to stockpile within the cupboard just so as and when we next fancy an Aperol, we've got some. I think this was £11, which is pretty good value. I've got one of these little, sh let me take it off the thing. Little like shower puff things. And I like the fact that it was a beige. I feel like it's gonna be better suited to fake tan wearers if you need to scrub it off. I think this is 40p or 49p. I saw this in the bathroom section. It was four pounds and it is a fringed 
hand towel, 50 centimeters by 90 centimeters, a good size for a hand towel. It's got this kind of did like almost diamond chevron style design on it. I just thought this would be really nice in our downstairs loo, just hung up for um, like builders when they're washing their hands and everything. I've currently got a nice white one in there and I'm thinking maybe put that back um, and have this. It's more of a creamy beige color, this one, which I really like. So yeah, I picked that one up for four pounds. Another pet cooling product, I've seen these before. I wanted to get this spray mat that they do, you know, like a, it's like a swimming pool, but really shallow with loads of spraying water out of it so um i think they're eight pounds but i didn't see them in our store so i did see this a pet ice towel at three pounds you essentially just r wet it wring it out just light over your pet or the pet can lie on it to keep them nice and cool i actually saw another woman picking up these and she was on the phone to her friend and she was saying oh they've got these do you want me to get you some as well and she was like yeah so she was getting the full set of outdoor crockery outdoor tableware and she was getting bowls plates and there was a few different colors and then they also had these tumblers i didn't pick up the entire set just because i don't really need to but they're a really pretty kind of stone color patterned tumbler which i just thought would be ideal for outdoor with a little straw in or whatever just for some soft drinks whilst we're dining outside they were one pound each i am quite lucky touch wood that um, I'm not really a hay fever sufferer. However, Tom's had it pretty bad this year. So I just stocked up on some more purities. Sometimes I do get skin allergies or sensitive skin, especially in the heat or heat rash. So I always like to have some of these stockpiled anyway. But they were only $1.99, which I thought for a pack of purities is actually really affordable. It is only seven tablets, but I still think that's cheaper than most like supermarket prices. Speaking of Pims earlier, I saw this Pims special edition jam, strawberry tangerine and mint preserve. I just think I'm going to love this. I'm in a habit at the moment of every single morning for my breakfast having toast with one slice with just butter and then the other slice with butter and jam so i thought i would try this one out it was only one pound 49 one pound 49 i thought i would pick up this sponge ultra thirsty sponge the cleaning essential it's a really absorbing super absorbing sponge that i thought would be good for um as and when tom tom oh my god when Barney is drinking from his water bottle and gets it everywhere to just soak it all up. Speaking of Barney, I also got him this fun snake. I've seen, because he's got an Instagram account, um, I've seen a few other dog owners that I follow have these for their pets and they find them really interactive, fun, and it keeps them entertained for a while. So you can pop little treats in here and they kind of have to figure out how to get it out. It's like a rubber snake. $2.99 this one is. So they sell 19 Crimes wine in B&M and I've never never tried this one before so I thought I would try it out it's the deported red blend infused with a shot of cold brew coffee I think I'm gonna love this I'm intrigued to know how much of the coffee actually comes through um but yeah I love coffee love red wine love 19 crimes so I'm intrigued to try this one out they're usually about seven pounds oops dropped my phone I also stocked up on another one of the new Zaflora's Cucumber and Mint. You might have seen in my home since haul, I picked up all the new flavours. Flavours. <laughs> Definitely not flavours. Scents. The Rhubarb and Cassis. Ow, oh, what's the other one? Cypress and Sea Sage. But yeah, I really enjoyed the Cucumber and Mint one, so I decided to stock up on another one. It smells a bit like a mojito, so it's very summery and light and fresh without it being really floral and feminine. So yeah, I would recommend if, like me, you have similar scent preferences. See, I was completely suckered into purchasing this because something that is scented wild berries I'd usually not opt for. But because it has Hinch written all over it, literally, I had to pick it up. So this is her new anti-back in Wild Berries multi-surface spray with flash. It was only $1.99, so I thought I would try it out. And then I also picked up this from Fabulosa at only £1. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I can't find any other, or I don't know of any other glass cleaners that are scented. They're usually just a glass cleaner um so the fact that they are scented i do have another one that i'm currently using from fabulous but i thought i'd get this as my second backup because again i loved the sound of this scent this one is in orange blossom they have such a big range of uh products from the skinny food company and b&m and i decided to pick up this 
zero calorie sweetener syrup for your coffees. I don't ordinarily go for the zero sugar ones. I actually just like the sugar ones, like gingerbread and whatever. It's just, I find the normal ones better. But I thought I'd try this one anyway, caramelized biscuit. I'm imagining it's like a Biscoff kind of flavor. 3.99 this one was, was is <laughs> 3.99. And it's a pretty generous size as well. So considering I use a tiny bit of syrup per coffee and not even every coffee, I feel like I'm never gonna get through this. I mean, we've got until November 2022. <sighs> I love Lotus Biscoff. So they do these at Biscoff and Go little breadstick pots with a Biscoff dip at only a pound. So I picked up the one of those. And then I also saw these, which I've never tried before, and they look fantastic. $2.99. They're the Lotus chocolate bars, one of which is just the original Speculos milk chocolate um yeah looks good to me i'm not really sure what the difference is with this one it's got on the front pasta pate pats so i'm guessing it's got like a creamier kind of filling it's with a cinnamon flavored paste oh my god that sounds amazing okay i think i'm gonna prefer this one to this one but either way, I'm going to love both. $2.99. I swear they always have the best range of really unique flavoured snacks and everything. So this apparently on the receipt says Australian chocolate. So Aussie flavoured Kit Kat Golds, which I'm imagining are going to be a bit of a caramac kind of flavour, which I love. I love caramac. They're one pound twenty nine each, which for a chocolate bar is kind of pricey. But I guess if they're flown over from Australia... That's why. Another fun flavored snack that I've never had before are these mini cheddars. I love mini cheddars anyway, but these are Plowman's Cheshire Cheese flavored mini cheddars, which I think I'm gonna love. I love Cheshire Cheese. Pound for this bag of six individually portioned bags. I always stock up on a couple of these John West lunch to goes, or lunch on the goes, they're called little tuna salads. I've got the tuna lime and cracked black pepper salad and then the French style tuna salad. They're just a really good size, really easy, and they're only about £1.50 in b &M, which is cheaper than supermarkets. Oh, I also spotted this in the cleaning section, which I didn't even know existed, but Minky have done a collab with Samaritans uh, charity. So this particular edition of their anti back cleaning pad 10p donation goes towards Samaritans from every pack sold so yeah I thought I would pick up one of these and do my little bit for helping out the brand and helping out the collab because I think it's great that they're working with charity on that one then last but not least I stocked up on some snacks for Barney I did get him one of these cheese bones which are so much cheaper than the cheese bones at pets at home pets at home I think they're about 11.99 for this size 2.99 in B&M. So yeah, if I can remember to, I always get the cheese bone from B&M. And then I also stocked up on two of these Fisherman's Dog Treats. He loves fish. And um, I picked up salmon slices. I think it's really good for his coat as well. So I always throw a few scraps in with his meal or whatever and use fish treats because he does really like them as well. So these are Sushi Twisters. And these are $1.99 each. And then I also spotted this range of superfoods for dogs, which I thought was quite fun, from Irish Rover. And yeah, I thought I would try these ones out. So they're a um, chicken treat with sweet potato, carrot, and pumpkin. And then chicken with spinach and kale. And then also from the same brand, Irish Rover Select, the Duck a l'Orange, which I just thought was so funny. Bistro style treats for dogs. Very posh pooch style treats, this one. And they are all £1.49 each. So that is everything that I did pick up from B&M. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more. Thank you once again to Wild for very kindly sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to take advantage of my discount code for 2021 to save 20% off all products. I will leave the link in the description box. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.